Hi everyone. Uh, right, I'm just making something at the moment for a friend, so I just thought I'd let you uh, come along and see what I'm doing. If you want to, that is. Right, I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. I've got a doily mat. That I'm going to use. And I'm using, uh, for those of you who don't know what this is, is some wadding. And it's just a filler. Like that. Oh, that's going to be perfect. First of all, I need to put something on there. And um, let me just see what I've got. Oh. Mm. I like, like this one. Not sure if that's yeah, it might do that. I've chosen one, I'll show you in a minute. I'm just gonna cut it. I've done that one, chosen that one. So now all I have to do is to swing that around, make sure. I've got the right length. Oh, we don't measure anything properly or anything like that. Excuse me. And then that'll do nicely. And I'm going to take that to there. use somewhere else. Okie dokie. Well that'll do what I need. Um, and all I'm going to do is to glue this straight on. Oops. There we go. Spin that round. <clears throat> not edging it or anything I don't need to when you see okay and what I'm going to do is just to pull this up so that does definitely glue down Like that. Let me just spin that around. And we can pull it up a bit there. And we just do the same thing. And just pat that down. Don't worry about anything not fitting or working or anything like that. See, that's quite pretty, isn't it? with a nice material underneath. I could have used a plain one, I suppose, but um, I've chosen not to do it. I'm going to move these in slightly from the edge. So I'm just going to level this one up a little bit. And just see, I need that in there. Left it about a centimetre away from the edge. And then that one there. That should work just right. Spin that around and pull this down a little bit. And that should be how I want it. Right, and I'm just going to get another piece of material now.
and I've got this. Um, <coughs> it's got a beautiful pattern to the bottom of it. And what I'm thinking about, so I saw this the other day and I thought, wow, that's going to look fab if I do it like that. So I re and it's got a nice embroidered pattern to it. So what I'm going to do is just cut straight across like that. <coughs> and then that should give me the amount I need to work with. Okay. And um Right, that's the piece I need. Uh, first, what I'm going to do is pop on a little um, cover. In fact, I might just... I'm going to use the same material, I think. So it's got the... Yeah, I think I'll use the same. It's all cotton. So I'm just going to need that much. Like I say, we only cut roughly and we just glue it on. It's just plain cotton. Now, this has to be kept in place. And in order to do that, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on there. I'm just going to get another glue stick. And then we'll put one on there like... Oops, bring that back to where we need it. That's just to hold that still, basically. Like that. Spin this around. It won't make any difference to the book apart from keep that in place when I want it. And then what we do is, like I say, I'm not bothered about this on there because it's going to get covered up. Is right away, I'm going to do the sides first um, and the centre. So I'm going to pull that over, make sure it's covering everywhere that I need it to cover and then just pop my fingers run them down the edge on the inside and then I can gauge this and cut this off what I don't need okay I'm not bothered about the crease you're not going to see that now what I'm going to do is the ends so it's fitting in there nicely lift that back and we're just doing the material You just drop it over and then tuck it in. Like that. Drop over and tuck it in. Sorry, my... Uh, let's see if I can stop my... Not much more, but it's better than it was. See, so you've got a nice padded area. Again, we start from there and we drop that in. So we just lay it flat and then tuck it in with your fingers and you get that cushioned look like that and then when we close it up it's nicely padded now what we're going to do is to do the ends now I'm not going to glue here or here there's no need to do that and it will uh, prevent your book from closing properly and I've shown you that technique before that you know how we do that again we just take it and we do that your fingers that do the work and we'll just a little bit there and pull that tuck that in like I said this is going to be covered so it doesn't matter if uh, it gets a crease or anything like that when you trim it off just tuck that in like that Turn that around. I mean, I've shown you booked 
very similar before these are just easy to make they're, they're not um you know like i said they are easy to make that's the whole thing like i say just pull that in place Um, and then all we do is, <coughs> excuse me, is we trim this off. Now, just trim it as close as you can. Like I say, you're not going to see any of this properly. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's a little bit rough. Sorry, let me pull that back a bit. That's it. It's caught it too much. Cut it as close to the fabric you have underneath. You know, that fabric... I mean, I'm rushing mine, but try and do your line straight from your glue gun. And don't cut into your doily. I kind of like tuck my scissors underneath and do that and it gets you closest, you know, as close as you can. Like that, see, and that's fine. Doesn't matter if you can see your fabric because you're going to cover that with lace. Oh, Renya, if you're watching this, honey, you do me a big favour. Can you let me know how much it is to send my box? Because I need to get those tubs. We're getting everything sorted this end. Please, if you don't mind, darling, just give us a drop us a message. And let me know how much my box is and I'll uh, get that off to you. What it is, when I was over at Renier's I, uh, and Cindy's, I bought some tubs I showed you in the video. Uh, and I need to get them here. That's great, look. Nice little book. Um, and I'm going to do some bits and pieces with it right now. Um, and one is to put this fabric lace on. Because I absolutely love it. Isn't that going to look stunning? Must make sure that it meets there. Now we're going to do the same thing. I don't need to cut this any more than I have to. So all I'm going to do is to glue down the edge there. Okay, we take the material. And we just glue that down. Because it's got a holding, just be careful about that glue. Okay. I need to do that a little bit better than that, actually. Sorry, I haven't pulled it down enough. It needs to be further down. So I'm going to start from the top, I think. Pull it off and start again. Easy as that. Let's just hold that over a little bit. It has to fit there, like that. It is just beautiful trim. Now, don't forget I've got this. So we do the same thing again. You put the glue down the sides. Lay back your material. Do this side first. And then just drop that in there. That's fantastic. Brilliant. And you still get that flexibility in it. Do you know what? I might even... Do you know? I'm sorry I didn't put that on the inside. I can do it that way. Uh, there you go. A new book. <laughs> oh, dear in me. Yeah, we'll do it that way. I prefer this for the outside. To be honest. I didn't want to, um, I don't know, I might change my mind because I do want to, it's for stick pins. See, I could have it either way really, couldn't I? I could have it that way, which is beautiful, and then that way inside. I suppose I could, but then I want to decorate it. I want laces on it and that's, no, I'm going to keep that for the inside. So we're going to do this. Let me get some more glue. <coughs> 
I really should keep a stack of it out if I use that much. I need to top my little pot up. Okay, I just want to burn my hands off. So we flatten that out and we just drop that in there. Like that. Is that going to be enough? Yes, I think so. Like that. And then what you do is just to trim that bit off. And then we just pin this down. Any excess can be cut off. But you don't if you've done it right, you won't have any like that. It'll be just right. Like that. Not lovely. What a surprise when you open it up and you see that. I am <laughs> I'm debating about having it that way. But then it, you won't get to see all of that if I do. Um, it'll spoil it because I'm going to put laces around the edging. Um, now one of the lace I do like is the uh, the Nottingham lace. Yes, and that's going to look super. So I'm just going to take some of this. And then I need a smaller one. Oh, I love that. Shall I do that? Do that on the outside, maybe. Mm. Let me just see, because I have to. I'm going to use some of this, I think. Yeah. I'm going to use some of this. And I've got some lacing um, that I need to use up that um, I get little bits and pieces. Well, let's just work with this for now. So this is the Nottingham lace and it's in the store. It's absolutely beautiful. Very, very soft. Now I'm not going to touch the bottom here because I'm going to leave that to put something there. I can just peel that back, see, and put something dangling from that. So I'm just going to start here. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to tuck it in a little bit. Just to give it a nice, neat edge. And it stops it fraying. There we go, let's drop that on like that. These are so quick and so easy to make. I'm just going to snip that bit off. Now don't forget, when you're going around a corner, even though you're using a gathered lace, I hope you can see this, gather your material up because it stops it puckering and it gives you a nice edge, a nice corner. Okay, just a little tip. Now remember, I'm not doing this bit. I mean, it, it won't, you know, prevent it from shutting properly. There's no need, so we can do it a little bit closer. And then we miss that little bit, and we go over there. We're back to the edge again, take that off, the excess off. There we go. Again, we're back to the edge, like I say, to the corner. And we'll flip that and just pinch it. Don't burn yourself like that. I'm 
and then on like that. It's just, oops, and don't forget, I'm going to cut this and tuck it in. Like that. And then we just pin that down. Just gives it a nice neat edge. Isn't that gorgeous? I do like that. It really looks sad that way. <laughs> but we're going to decorate that one up as well. Yeah. Now what I've got is I've got these two flowers that I've handmade. Um, they're almost identical. And I was thinking of putting these here. I might change my mind yet because I've got that one as well. No, nope, not too much. Right, we're going back to this. <laughs> Let's finish this off. Um, so I need the Nottingham lace for the outside. I'll leave that there. Um, what I'm going to do is go back and do this edge. Make sure I've got the right one. Right edge starting. Again, just flip that bit in. A little bit on the edge. And just fold it in. It really does give it a neat, neat finish. I've not seen anybody do it. Um, but I generally do it a lot. Because it just gives that perfect, neat finish. And it looks quite professional, actually. But... Uh, Pull that bit back. Again, we're going round the corner. Doesn't matter how small your lace is, nip it together. And it does give you like a fan there, but that looks really pretty. And don't forget, we're going to miss this section here. Just You only need to miss about a centimetre of it. Like that. Nice look. Okay, we've got that. And that's just to give you that flexibility in your book. Now these, uh, you can use any laces, any covering. Um, they're so easy to make. You don't even have to make them into a stick pin book. Um, you can make them anything you want. You can put pockets in them. I might just do that with this anyway. What I don't want to do is to take away this gorgeous, gorgeous trim. So I pull that back a little bit because I've got to go around the corner. <clears throat> and we just, again, pinch that. And fan it. Gives it a professional look, finish. Oh, do you believe I've used a whole glue stick on that? And I don't put a lot on. Pull that back. And pop that down. There you go, really nice neat finish. That looks really good. I do like that. Let's turn to the back. Or to the front cover, should I say. Now we're going to put the Nottingham lace on. And the Nottingham lace can go all the way around. Um, I would, if I were you, uh, start in the back panel. But start here. Again, we fold, let me get the right way for the lace. I don't know if you've noticed with lace, there is a right and a wrong way, of course. If the stitching is like a running stitch, then you've got it the right way. If it looks like it's knotted running stitch, you've got it the wrong way. Just a little tip. Fold that over. Squash that down. Okay, now I'm going to put it onto this band here. Let me find out where the section is there. This is the one I'm going to start from. Right, 
There we go. Again, you are going around a corner, so tuck it, you know, nip it. Just keep pinching it together till you get... Three nips is normally sufficient to get you the fan that you need to get that corner, that neat finish. I need to get that over. What I do if I... If it's slightly over the edge, pull it over and then pull it back like that so you can pull it into place. So we go at like this. Because the glue I'd put too close to the edge. They put it on and pull it back into place. Of course, we're going to go around this corner and then pop that on. One two three three little tucks and then press that down if you know glue underneath it pop some on and press it down and it gives you a beautiful finished look oh i never thought have i got enough to finish yes i have thank god <laughs> i never thought to measure this again like i say we're going to go straight to this end here Put it on it and pull it back. Like that. Miss this one. And go on to that one. Like that. Pull this back to the corner. Sorry if you can't see. I'm hoping you can see everything. Pull it back. One, two, three. Oh, and I meant to say, you know my uh, daughter Sadie. Oh, I mean, I always keep you up to date what's happening in the family. And she's just come back, uh, hasn't she, from Bangkok and all of that. Um, well, <laughs> she, she's doing skydiving next week. <laughs> I don't want her to do it, but I want her to do it. Um, I'm just fright frightened. I just, you know, I mean, I'd do it if I could, but it terrifies me about thinking about it. But I want her to do it, and um, I hope everything goes. I, I'm hoping I can go with her. Maybe not. I don't know. If she's going with all her mates, it, there's no point. But, um, yeah, she's going to do skydiving next week. <laughs> she's got such a bucket list I'll tell you and she's achieving everything she wants to do and I, I can't be more proud of her you know to do all the things she's doing the traveling she's doing she's just amazing amazing woman in her own right and uh, I'm very 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 extremely proud of her And cut that off. Now I've gone over a little bit with that one, so I just pull that onto there and pull that down. And then we pull it back into place. I am, I'm extremely proud of her. But she's, she has had a hell of a bucket list. And she's achieving everything she can. Now, I've joined that there for this particular case. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, and that will still close. Like that. Isn't that pretty? Love the inside. The stick pins are going to look beautiful against that. In fact, I've, uh, I've also had some somewhere that I can just quickly try out. I still can't find the, my pearly bits. I think somebody's uh, been in and nipped them. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. There we go. In fact, I might just use these to go with them. I did make some the other day. One, two, three. 
How many did I make? I thought I made a whole set. Probably not, but there's uh, oh, four there. We shall try them out. Look. Oh, they're just, just beautiful. Oops, a daisy. bent pin like that they're gorgeous yeah I'll have to fix that one I'll be back in a minute right I'm back now I just had to go off because I know my camera would have cut off right so we've got that but I want to put this little trim on as well I'm just going to make sure that I've got enough to go around Obviously, yeah. So again, I'm just going to start from the back. Uh, from the, you know, um, section at the back in the middle. Yeah, she went island hopping next year. Um, uh, they're going to do a year out. Because she works for herself, she, she has her own business, but she's going to do a year travelling with some friends. Um, and they're going to go all over the world. That's her outlook for next year. And, uh, you know, what can you say? Get on with it, last while you're young enough to do it. And she will. So I'm quite pleased, but I just don't want her to do the skydiving. I mean, I want her to experience it. I just... Oh, somebody's with her. <laughs> I wanted to do it on her own. But she's de she's a very, very determined lady, and what can you say? I'm just hoping everything will be fine. Think positive. Again, let me say... My mum and dad would be extremely proud of her um, living a dream. I think she wants to do all of this before she eventually settles down. And then she'll have a lot of stories to tell, pass on to her children. As if she ever has any. <laughs> Probably won't see any from her. She might never get married, she might never settle down. She she loves the freedom, I mean, what can you say? She loves the freedom. And I don't blame her. Why be straddled with children uh, in today's world? That's what I say. It's not nice to live in, in a lot of places. You know, you're getting stripped of everything and you're getting people don't realize it but they are they're um they're making it slowly but surely that you're doing exactly what they want you to do and no one's fighting any corners anymore they're just complying to everything instead of telling others where to go we're losing full control of ourselves unfortunately complete control it's all getting taken from you and no one's doing anything about it a government will not do anything to help you they only do it to help themselves people should have learned that by now sorry that's my opinion anyway so <laughs> going off the track isn't that gorgeous now what I'm going to do is put some pearly beads on it
So we've got some of these. Let me just put those in there, out of the way. Um, and I'm just going to pop on this trim. Okay. So I hope you manage to see at least most of this. And then we should be able to do this because it's got trim, you know, um, like a thread between each pearl and you can just run that around there, around the corner. Now, I tell you what I am going to do, I'm only taking it up to here because I don't want, I can fill it in if I have to, but I don't actually want, I need to keep that flexibility in it, that's what I was trying to say, but I can fill it in if I have to, I'll see how it looks. There we go. Mm. Do you know, I might... No, no, I'm not going to. I'm not... No, because it's going to be stiff, you know, too stiff to close it and it that's bad enough as it is so we'll have to put a closure on that I think right yeah but what I'll do is I'll uh, <coughs> pop the pearl on the outside and again um, I'm just gonna that's already got a, an opening in it so I can do that straight away And I don't want to overdo on the book. I never do. I, I think they get spoilt when they're overdone. Like that. Just get rid of all the glue strands. Put some more. What's that? Yeah. Oops. 
Now on the outside should be fine. My phone wants charging. there I think that's it and um, yeah we can stick that last one down it just has to see how it's gone like that you can't you can hardly shut it so I think actually I'm gonna take the last one out from both sides because I don't want that. If I was hand stitching or something like that, it probably would be fine. But it's because I've um, glued it. And there's quite a few layers of glue on there when you think of the. Yeah, that looks better. Now you see how I've done this. Um, <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to do it the same because that's what's stopping it from closing. This side, I left it open and it's flexible. This is not. I should have done what I wanted to do in the first place and just take out that because it's stopping it. Let's take that one out. There we go. It was pulling on it. That's better. Now it shuts properly. I mean, it doesn't matter about that. You can put your own trimming on there. That's nothing. And there we go. I do like that. I think that's lovely. Now, let's just see what we're going to do with it. I love this, so I might leave that as it is. But, you know, I've got some little... That, oh, isn't that gorgeous? So I've got a handmade flower. Which I'm going to glue on there. Just as decoration. That's gorgeous. And I might just put the other one here. Meh, I don't know. We've got one in there. And that one there. <laughs> Again, I've signed it. <laughs> Excuse me. As I do all my things. That's pretty. So the same, actually, I could have done it that side, couldn't I? Well, never mind, it's on now. But, um, yeah. And I, I just need to put a fastener on here. Now, what I'm going to do is ribbon. Because ribbon is really easy uh, to do. And you don't need that much of it. So let me just get my, uh, if we say that much. There we go, and all I do, take the end and fold it, take the flamethrower and kind of like, just singe the edges so it doesn't, nothing happens to it. Like that. A 
a nice long piece, fold it in half. Cut it. Now this one has to go from this side, so it's like that. So I'm going to burnish the edge, seal it, pop a bit of glue on the shiny side and bend that back like that. Do the same with the other one, burnish it. Pop a little bit of glue, bend that back, like that, and then that will be concealed. I've bent it back the wrong bloody side. <laughs> oh, never mind, I can't be bothered. I'll put something on it. Never mind. I'll just tuck that in there. You can just glue that. Like that. Obviously, we have to do this side as well. We tuck that in like that. We flip that back. That's it. Hopefully we've got them in the right place. And then when we fasten it up... No, it's got to dry first, sorry. That's a bit silly on my part. Just let them dry. And then what we can do, put a little bit of decoration on there, you know, hey ho, it doesn't matter, does it? Let's find something for decoration. Hmm. Well, we could put some flowers in there, it doesn't matter. <coughs> I do like these. It's just for decoration and it will hold that in place. Let me say, we'll just pop that in place. chance to dry and that look nice when you open it up yeah so pull that together now that's dried I don't really want to do, I might do something across there, I'm not sure. I've got some beautiful, beautiful lace. Um, I think it needs something, don't you? Yeah, yeah we'll use this one, because this is stunning. Just for decoration, mind. See, something there, oh, that's it. See, just makes the book. And that's all you need to do. It all blends in nicely. I don't want to do it like that. I just think it needed something here. So I'm just going to glue that in place. And I'll glue the rest of it down when I've finished. 
So I'm just going to glue these bits down just to hold them. While I manoeuvre the rest of it. Like that. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to pull that across into position there. And then what I can do is just, it just needed a little bit of something else. It was a bit plain for me. And it needed a shabby, shabbiness to it. Pin these little bits down. Need to get all the thread off it. Beautiful. Exactly what I needed or what it needed. And there you go. No pictures, very few flowers. Bling from the shop, lace from the shop, lace from the shop, pearls from the shop, ribbon from the shop. Um, you can't have get that yet. <laughs> if I can get that, I'll get it. Don't worry about it. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.